Yeah, so um, as far as cybersecurity, um, it's a journey and not a destination, which means that people need to reevaluate their security posture over and over again. So with that being said, the single most important thing is executive support in order to implement cybersecurity programs. Um, um, more and more, we'll see that regulatory requirements drive executive support, but without that regulatory um, push, sometimes we see that executive support to implement cybersecurity um, practices and procedures um, is a challenge. Yep, so the overall risk um, for cybersecurity and power generation industry is around the potential to take down the grid and the impact that that would have. In order to combat that risk, we recommend that generators really understand their risk posture by taking care of some of the fundamental cybersecurity um, processes and procedures. One way to do this is to really understand your environment because you can't protect what you don't know about. And um, a couple of critical ways to do this is one, through um, cyber asset inventory and really understanding where your cyber assets are. And secondly is understanding that the assets within this industry have long life cycles and so some of their um, assets weren't created with cybersecurity in mind. So if you reevaluate the risk associated with those older assets, you can go back and remediate the risks. While there's many benefits to having distributed energy sources, it also um, increases the exposure for cybersecurity risk. What I mean by this is that there's old sources of power as well as these new renewable energy sources. And so by networking the two sources together, you need to really understand the risks and in increased networks. And there is also about uh, the existing uh, plants which are there. Uh, which have a more vulnerability compared to the independent power plants which are coming in through, which are more risk averse and they are already have systems and processes in place to counter the any c uh, cyber attacks that could take place. So, yeah. First of all, uh, on the digital front, uh, there are a lot of steps that are being taken place. Now there are markets where, uh, like for example, South Africa itself has a lot of power generation in place already and it's looking at optimization of, uh, of its plants, optimization of its uh, resources and optimization of its tools and processes that need to be done. Now these, uh, these typically are the digital portfolio covered items which are there. Now one of the major things uh, of course is the cyber security on the digital front where we see a lot of vulnerability of a lot of uh, plants across Africa not only in uh, on the thermal side but also on the hydro side. So it's it's up up against I would say uh, against a time frame where we need to do a lot of things as soon as possible and there are there are processes in place on that. So there's lots of benefits associated with um, leveraging the smart grid and smart assets. Um, with that, um, we recommend a standardized approach for, um, for mitigating cybersecurity risks. And this starts with the design um, and, and standardized architectures. This helps you um, address risks, um, incident response when it comes to cybersecurity. So um, what we've seen um, with some of our customers is there's maybe been hesitation to leverage um, the smart grid because um, there's lack of understanding of how to um, address cybersecurity risks. But with a standardized approach, um, leveraging the smart, you can leverage the smart grid with greater confidence.